Here come the top plays of the week from the second round of the high school football postseason. After four years of beating the snot out of running backs and wideouts, senior Caden Reynolds decided that it was time to unleash some offense of his own. Check him out here, lined up next to Victor Skoog, who is half of a riddle, and off he goes and would even get his shoulder down, but if everyone could run the ball, everybody would. Out pops the rock, and hold on if we've got another Colt coming in. A whole lot going on there, another non-skilled player touching the rock, but check it out one more time. This was called a forward lateral. I mean, call it what you want. The whole play pretty awesome from start to finish. Definitely worth a top play nominee. Now we head to Danville, where Blue Devils wide receiver Caden Colopy got things started for the host on the third play of the game, taking this screen pass, and he's going to find the corner, then dish out a big stiff farm before hitting turbo to take it 47 yards to the hizzy. It would start a string of five straight possessions with a TD for Danville as they held off Hillsdale 42-41, led by Caden's ferocious start with this crazy house call for six, putting on the speed after the big time throwdown. We move on now to nominee number three, and it's going to come from Crestview's 31-22 victory at home over Patrick Henry, where Hayden Kuhn would use some unique hand-eye coordination to bring this one down, but that's not all. Kuhn going to take his newfound football toy back to the house for some points to 97-yard tip, drip, pick six for the Cougars QB who's not just a gunslinger, but you're gonna see here also a ball snatcher, and he's becoming a pretty effective defensive player here in the postseason. Hayden has been getting it done on both sides of the football. Huge house call right here to help push the Cougars into the next round of the playoffs. The Colonel Crawford Eagles got their revenge over the reigning state champs Friday night, and it all started with this 45-yard touchdown run by senior quarterback Cameron Lohr. Stellar blocking by the boys up front allowed Lore to hit the open lane, and he never looked back as the Eagles soared to a 21-14 victory over the Cary Blue Devils on their way into the regional semifinals. But check this out, setting the bar high right from the jump. That's why the Eagles are moving on. Those are the top plays from the second week of the high school football postseason. Head into the comments section below to make your vote heard right now. They got upset. I had to put all their egos in check.